my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you weekly reading vlog number 99. <laughs> So it's currently rather early on Monday. Um, I need to get dressed and get to work. I'm in my pajamas. I've basically gotten up, had food and thought, let's start the vlog. Um, so yeah, I ha don't have huge plans this week. Books, it is time for my Patreon buddy read for the month and we are reading Docile by KM Sparrow. So I'm gonna start this on my lunch break today. I'm really intimidated by this and this one was actually a gift from Ro because she loves it so said I needed to read it but um yeah I'm kind of scared I need to read how many pages today 58 pages today so it feels like doable but I don't know why I'm so intimidated by this one um this is well the tagline for this book is there's no consent under capitalism and the description says it's a science fiction parable about love and sex wealth and debt abuse and power a challenging tour de force that at, that at turns seduces and startles kind of scared kind of kind of scared um my other task which i will not achieve i if i'm reading that i don't see how i'm gonna read this at the same time but i do have clockwork prints um by cassandra clare which i started in my sprints last night and i need to read at some point soon so chugging along with this one as well but this one is my priority so i need to find out how hot it's gonna be dress for the day i go to work i'm so tired this morning oh hello hello if i'd like to focus please thank you um it is about 5 30 6 o'clock ish on um tuesday days wow um i'm gonna do patron sprints tonight fully productivity sprints for me because i have to get some studying done i am not allowed to read um the reading that i am doing i am loving <laughs> malfunctioned i am loving it is docile by km sparrow and this I have probably mentioned is my Patreon buddy read for the month. Um, we're on day two. I am devouring this. It is so good. Obviously, I'm only about 100 pages in, so I can't say that stands for the rest of the book, but so far this is genuinely so intriguing. This is about society where you can sell your, like families retain debt and you can sell your family's debt by becoming a docile, which is basically a slave. And our main character has sold himself um, to a rich man. And this rich man is is doing things to him that's described in graphic detail. So please do know that going in because I was not aware. Um, but it's just so interesting. And I am so intrigued and just loving learning about this fake society that loving it absolutely loving it so i need to finish the buddy read pages for the day um i'm just eating dinner so i'll do that and then i'll do the productivity sprints but yeah i don't think it's going to be a very exciting week annoyingly i'll have to make next one more exciting because it's 100 um but this one this one may just be me studying and getting home from work which is not as fun it is five o'clock on wednesday you'll never guess what i'm going to tell you it is that i'm home from work i um read today's pages of docile I really like it. I now need to study. That is how exciting my life is right now, guys. Um, but I will say, docile, I am about 200 pages in and I am absolutely loving it. It definitely has five star potential. But really, I don't have anything to tell you. Like, my life has been so boring the past couple days. Um, this is kind of it. Maybe something weird and wacky will happen later. Who knows? very very warm i have just got home from work on thursday it is 5 30 and i'm just absolutely shattered um 
as you'll have seen, I took a little trip out on my lunch break today. And for some reason, the rule was that if it's payday and I'm carrying my camera, that means I have to go book shopping. So I went into this charity shop that I don't normally go in because the books are a little bit pricier, but I've come to realize that even at the price they are, they're still quite cheap. Um, so I got four books, which I'm gonna show you. The first one is The Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. This just looks gorgeous. Like I, I don't have, like just, mm. I don't have a good reason for this apart from it looks really pretty. And I've heard that some people do really like it. Whether it's gonna be my thing, I really don't know, but like, it, it's gorgeous. And it was £2.50, so got it. I then got this one, which I heard a lot about. This is The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. And I hadn't heard a lot about what it's actually about, but I've just seen it around. Um, I know that it's on Laura's list of books to read in 2022. So I think that's where I first saw it. And it just looked really interesting. So I picked it up to see what it was actually about. And it sounds great. So this was also £2.50. It says it's 2003 and Romy Hall is at the start of a two con is that at the start of two consecutive life sentences at Stanville Women's Correctional Facility, deep in California's Central Valley. Outside is the world far from which she has been severed. I should mm, that's not that's a lot of words. Um, the San Francisco of her youth and her young son Jackson. Inside is a new reality. Thousands of women hustling for the bare essentials needed to survive. The bluffing and pageantry and casual, casual acts of violence by guards and prisoners alike. And the deadpan absurdities of institutional living. Lots of big words. Um, but, I mean, one, it drew me in because of how it looks. Uh, but this does actually sound like quite an interesting thing. It was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2018. We'll, we'll read it. Next up, I found the editions of the Jacqueline Wilson books I'm collecting, and that is Girls Out Late. Uh, so this is book three of the Girls series. And um, yeah, it's actually in really good condition. You can tell it's not brand new, but this has to be quite new, maybe read once by a really careful teenager. But I have been collecting these books in this edition. We've now got three out of four, and I've not spent more than two pound on them. So I feel like I'm doing well. And the last one I got is A Man Called Ove or Ove or Ove or Uve or however everyone pronounces it by Frederick Buckman. This one I have wanted to read because I've seen so many people love it. I did let Rachel know I have it and she is quite scared because I seem to trash all of her favourite books. Um, but this is about a grumpy old man, I believe. Uh, he thinks himself surrounded by idiots, joggers, neighbours who can't reverse a trailer properly and shop assistants who talk in code but it isn't rare these days to find isn't it rare these days to find such old-fashioned clarity of belief and deed such unswerving conviction about what the world should be and a lifelong dedication to making it so that's a lot of words i don't know what they meant but people say this is amazing so i wanted to grab it so yeah i got all of these for eight pound 90 which is expensive for a charity shop but uh, oh, the grand scheme of things that's really cheap um so I'm happy with that. It's also a really good charity. Now I need to make dinner. And it's Vampire Diaries watch along time tonight. Obviously I still have studying to do, but that is the watch along I'm gonna be doing while I study. Um, and then I want to finish Docile in bed. I still have quite a long way to go, but I've decided to just blow the um, the dead, the buddy read pages that I set, because I just want to finish it, because I'm really liking it. So I want to finish that tonight. And also, I've been talking for five minutes, but I forgot, I finished Falling by TJ Newman at work today. I've been listening to this audiobook and I gave it one star. I, the first 20%, especially the prologue, were like screaming, crying, throwing up levels of tension. Like I was on board. It is about a plane that is going to crash and the prologue is very interesting, very graphic. I won't spoil it until you've read it. But the whole story is about a guy, a pilot, who is told that he can either crash the plane or um, they, or his family's been taken hostage and they're going to get killed. Um, very interesting concept. I really enjoyed the start. Um, as soon as social media on a plane got involved, that's about the time where I didn't care. And yeah, I kind of hate listening to the rest of it. So one star. I then started listening to the audiobook of Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert. 
pure filth. I listened to it in the office for about an hour and was just so concerned that my headphones were gonna pop out and everyone was gonna hear the pure filth that I had to stop. So I'm gonna continue listening to that while I make my dinner. Um, this is genuinely about a woman who has broken up with her fiance. So she uh, takes revenge in the form of sleeping with his dad and calling him daddy. So I'm gonna continue on with that. Okay, it is about half nine on Thursday. I've done my vampire diaries for the night. I've cleaned the new ear piercing. So next on the agenda is an avocado sheet mask. Very excited. And finishing docile. I mean, I have a long ways to go, but we're gonna see how close I can get to the end. And yeah, got my cup of tea and I'm gonna sit and chill and read. I feel like this is the view that everyone needed of me. Hello, hello. So I am working. Um, very fun accounts going on here. Ignore the mess behind me. I just finished the audiobook of Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert and um, I gave it two stars. <laughs> I have never had a book that I've, I mean why I listened to this I don't know, but I've never had a book before where I genuinely couldn't see the point in it apart from the smut. Like this just felt like a book to get off to. There was no no frills. I don't know. I even think, like, I hate to compare it, but when we, we can joke about Den of Vipers, but there were actual, tip, tip, go with me on this. There were actual story points in there. It wasn't just sex, 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 whereas this book was sex, sex, sex. So two stars. <laughs> it is genuinely about, um, a girl who gets cheated on by her fiance, so she enacts her revenge and has sex with his dad. Um, so this is, what was this called? This Is Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert, and it's the exact same book as Daddy's Angel by K.A. Knight. And I feel like I preferred Daddy's Angel. It was exactly the same book. I think that's why I'm being harsher on it as well, because it genuinely was the same book. They both came out in the same year. If we change the character names, I'm sure some of the sentences were identical. Um, so yeah. I've done that. I've dug up my old Kindle Fire um, because I was very tempted to buy a Kindle Oasis and I realised I have a fire and a paperweight. Paperweight? Paper... whatever it's called. Paper... I don't know. So I have no intention of reading any of these books anytime soon but I just thought I'd charge it up so I don't know. The I wasn't even going to mention it because it's not like anyone really cares but the energy cap uh, was released today and energy bills are going up by 81% so I've worked it out and I need at least a two grand pay rise to just have the same disposable income that I have now um, and pay for my energy so I actually find out my pay rise next week hopefully or a couple weeks after that so <laughs> Yeah, let's hope it's at least two grand because uh, that's literally all I'm going to need to pay for energy, which is ridiculous. Like, it genuinely makes no sense. Um, on that note, I'm going to stop going on. <laughs> Do some more work. I'm not going to listen to another audiobook. I feel like I'm audiobooked out. I've read two in the past two days and I just want quiet. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Yeah, um, five stars. I really really like this book um thank you to Ro for gifting it to me for my birthday um thank you to everybody who pushed me to read it and voted for it in the patreon this is one of the strangest things i've read in terms of realness of a dystopian like it's up there with tender as the flesh like this was so odd and such a different society but i can see it i was in it and i had feelings about it and I am in love with this book. This is definitely on my best books I've read this year. Um, I don't really have time for much else because I need to go back to work. God, please ignore this mess. I also need to tidy up this mess. Um, what am I supposed to do with myself now? I will say actually, I got sent an offer for Audible and one of the books on there was Wolf Song. And if you just saw my September TBR that would have gone up a few days ago, I have to read Wolf Song. Um, so glad that I've got the audiobook of that one and I can go about it that way. I don't really have much else. I'm just very happy that I've finished this.
is Sunday afternoon and I'm having a really bad day. Um, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not actually hungover, which is great. I was home before midnight last night, had a couple ciders and a shot of tequila rose, which is disgusting. It tastes like off strawberry milkshake and don't let anyone tell you different. So yeah, I had like a decent night's sleep and everything. I'm just not having a good day. So I was gonna study all day before my sprints at six and I've done like two questions. And when I say done two questions, I've just like read two questions made a few notes where I wanted to and I'm really really struggling. My sprints at this stage are still scheduled for six and I think if I wouldn't have already tweeted a reminder out to say they were happening I would cancel them. We need to make next week vlog 100 needs to be great the best week so much excitement um but vlog 99 is definitely not definitely not i guess i have a book update i started listening oh god i started listening to the audiobook for wolf song because this is something that's being republished it was published quite a few years ago originally um so the audiobook is on audible um i had to sign up to audible again um but i have started it i've read the teeniest tiniest bit it's like an 18 hour audiobook so yay um but what i'm going to do on sprints later is catch up on my journaling and listen to this so yeah oh i'm just having a bad day just popping in to wrap up the vlog so i just finished my reading sprints and i read just shy of 250 pages of clockwork prints which i'm now not in light um i'm enjoying reading these but not as much as i do the mortal instruments uh something about victorian london just bores me a little bit too much um but then there have been mentions to cool places like fleet street and king's cross station and Whitechapel, so that bit's kind of fun um, but yeah, I'm just a bit, it's probably still going to be a four or five star, probably a five star to be honest, it's Cassandra Clare, but, um, yeah, I'm just a bit like, I want to read something new, but I also need to catch up with this read along, so I have done that, um, before doing that, I was listening to Wolf Song by TJ Klune on audio, and I'm about 120 pages into that now, I still don't really know what's going on like it's a little bit weird and i feel like i'd be enjoying it more reading the physical book and not rushing um but i am under a little bit of time pressure so um yeah i don't know i really don't know about that one yet i guess we will see um but really i don't have anything else to say so i'm gonna go to bed um i'm sorry this week's probably just been me being boring but like i don't I, nothing exciting has happened so I, I guess that's just how it is. You saw me do a shot at one point, that's pretty much as exciting as it got. But I am vowing to try and make next week a better week because it's number 100. So surely something good has to happen in vlog number 100. Watch this, This it'll be my worst week. Like, is my footage gonna corrupt? Probably, touch wood. Please don't, please don't. I really don't have anything to add. I don't even know what emoji to ask you for. Let's go with any pink emoji, please. If I can't think of anything, I default to my favorite color. So if you have watched the video to this point, please leave me a pink emoji to show me that you got here. It means so, so much to me. And especially in weeks like this where I'm just not doing my best, knowing that you guys genuinely still care about what's going on in my life, um, it really does give me a little boost and you can't imagine how much it means so thank you in advance um sorry it wasn't too fun here's hoping for next week um i appreciate you guys so much bye <laughs>